The kitchen is open at La Cote Brasserie, a popular New Orleans seafood restaurant. But after the Gulf Coast oil spill, the menu is changing. The prices of the seafood are starting to go up. The oysters are getting more scarce, as well as the product is starting to get a lot more scarce. So we'll probably be doing major menu changes within the next two or three weeks, depending on the availability of the local product, local seafood. Subra, a Louisiana native, says that nearly 90% of the seafood on Lacote's menu comes from local waters. Louisiana crawfish, Louisiana oysters, Louisiana crab meat, Gulf tuna, Gulf mahi-mahi, amberjack, grouper, shrimp, flounder, redfish, whatever else they have, the seafood markets have that are in season, fresh as possible. But with oil still gushing from the seafloor, major sections of the Gulf have been closed to fishing. That has forced Subra to change the way he does business. Probably lose a lot of our business for the oyster bar. We have run a happy hour special, seven dollar dozens of oysters. That's going to have to go bye bye because it won't be it won't be priced right or feasible for me to be able to do that. Restaurants aren't the only ones affected by the disaster. Lacote and others rely on the New Orleans Fish House, a local distributor, to supply them with the seafood they serve. We have no issues with supply right now. It's just a matter of a public confidence to go into the restaurants and eat. A lot of them are coming and asking if the seafood is safe. And of course it is. We don't serve anything. We don't buy anything that's not safe. Seafood lovers want to believe, but they're worried about what's being served. What then is the impact on me actually consuming or my family consuming the seafood that has been polluted with barrels upon barrels of oil. As the oil spreads, so does public concern. And answers to questions about food safety remain murky. For now, your best choices are not to eat fish from the Gulf region, um, but instead to make seafood choices uh, from other places where uh, the seafood is, is done in a sustainable manner. But the government has done a good job in terms of the closures of these fisheries, so it's unlikely that fish uh, that people would be served in restaurants would have been contaminated by the um, oil spill. As long as parts of the Gulf remain dirty, Hall, the seafood supplier, says everyone agrees on one thing. We don't want Louisiana or New Orleans to lose the mystique of being able to get daily caught fresh seafood. Whether you're going to a grocery store, whether you're going to a local retail market, or whether you're going to a restaurant, I mean, that is a huge part of our culture. A culture, no doubt, that many want to preserve. But what does the future really hold? It's too soon to say, you know, how, which fisheries are going to be open sooner and which ones are going to be safe sooner. Um, really, we're still trying to ascertain all the damage and, uh, and do our best to try and help those ecosystems recover. A recovery that some fear could be years away. Erica Brecky for On Earth Magazine.